make these things like kites and things. Okay. If the oxygen is one, remember if it's like an ether, if it's got all its oxygen around it, if it's that's an alcohol, because they had colored it all green. But I put that in there. These guys are in here. We put the protons, right? These are OHs. Where the OHs are. Green with red in them. This is fun, kids, isn't it? Come on, it's crayon chemistry. Over here, you've got the blue pill. This would be pill. Where the OHs are. Okay, green on top. on top and next to this one's on bottom well fructose has these OHs opposite and then once you get into there's different ways that this bonds like if one's going up and it does a beta instead of an alpha and then you get the cellulose and we don't have an enzyme to break that up now we're going to draw loops back to the beta to get to the pill some people don't have an enzyme to break that back at least half, if not two-thirds of the world now, Asians lack an enzyme in the majority statistically to break down lactose. Now, lactose is known as milk sugar. nutrition pictures of it. Let me make sure I get this right. got to draw for lactose first is going to be gal lactose. So what we're going to need here is a regular traditional sugar ring. So we start with our oxygen. Let's say about there. Put the oxygen in the ring. Oxygen always gets the two bonds. Okay, good. Now the beauty of the sugars is now we only need three colors. There's no nitrogen to involve. And the reds are always the teenies, so it's these two. It really lets you focus in on the carbon and the oxygen. These are the biggies. Everybody starts thinking hydrogen, you know. Don't even waste your time with hydrogen. Hydrogen is nothing. So for galactose here, let's write it out. We'll write it out. So we're writing gal lactose. So this is interesting that T rings. going to be a glucose and a galactose, which is one sugar, di one OH different, makes it galactose. Well, a galactose and a glucose are what make lactose itself. So this actually does make it simpler, but like before, it makes the name longer, which is the smaller of the two. So the way we're doing it again, we always want those carbons to be on the side. Even though that makes it a real pain in the butt here because we got to draw this one that way to the next binding. But then we have binding, binding on the side. Let's just set the inside of this binding. So this will take some practice getting used to. 
One, two, three, four. Here's the diamonds. when you're drawing figures and doing organic chemistry, the carbons are the hard part. But see, now the carbons are the easy part because they're just diamond, diamond. So diamond to diamond to diamond. So the thing we're going to have trouble with, see what I did there, that should go, see I'm messing that up already. No wonder of this. What we can do, I think, is we're going to make this have to go to organic, this goes to the end product. When we do that too, what we can do is the dotted line, if we want to try to go on top of it. Okay, kids, and this is what's going to be cool, because you can draw these things any way you want. I like to do them front to front. This one is going to have to go front to front like this. One carbon, two carbons, three carbons, four carbons, five carbons, six carbons. Oxygens, they all have the, sh the OH on it. Sugars are all about OHs. So this, this is the beauty of this here. Look, that O is on the bottom. This one, now we're getting better. This is an advanced class because we're not going to draw the lines of what you have here. So that's on the bottom. And the last carbon, this makes the OH on there. And then this one over here, this is an important one for Galactic. This gets the O on the bottom. So we got to make sure and draw the other one on top for the blue coat. This one up here, it doesn't matter. We can draw that wherever we want. We'll draw it on top for simplicity's sake. So now we go through, do all the carbons have O's on them? That one's that one, that one's that one, that one, this one's that, that gets that. This is the hardest part of organic chemistry. Look, you can't write it down. Again, what we're doing with this code, too, is all recyclable stuff except for these things right here. But we're going to draw those with crayons in a minute. The red, now we just do the dots. There's carbons, dot. That's an OH. That's an OH. Dot. Dot. That's an OH. This one isn't like that other one. Remember what we're going to put in the green here? When this gets hooked up, it's going to have all four bonds. It's not going to have any hydrogen bonds. In this case, this one next to the O, fructose is the one that gets the green. So see, now we can go through the look and say they all got hydrogens on them too. Huh? So those are hydrocarbons. You could actually call that a hydrocarbon now. And every carbon's got a hydrogen on it. Every single one of those has one, huh? And they all got the OH, but they're not part of the ring because H2O, remember? H2O and CO2. That's the sugars. So isn't that cool, though? Just dots, triangles, fill in the blanks. This is college stuff, kids, nursing, biology, nutrition. Now that we know what galactose looks like, we're going to go back to kindergarten. And we're going to draw galactose. The blue coat finally is to a galactose. So we're going to draw them. Three crayons is all we need. We're going to try something new here. We're going to draw this sideways. And we're going to have to make it such that this carbon here gets the bond. This carbon there gets the bond. So we're going to have to make our O's in the middle here. 